Hey, good Thursday morning. Thursday morning, the weekend's almost here. Get through today, and you know the drill, don't you? Uh, but today, I just want to talk about our country and the world in which we live. I mean, it, it is a scary place. When you read the, the creation account in the book of Genesis, you know, God said it was good. God said it was good. But here we are in 2023, and it seems like a young man goes to the wrong house and rings a doorbell, and he gets shot. Or a group of young people turn around in the wrong driveway, and their vehicle gets shot at, and a young person is killed. We, we are a violent society. We really are. And how do we change that? Well, um, you know, last week I was, I think Monday maybe, I was talking about how we have a mental health crisis in our country, and we really do. But we also have a spiritual problem in our country. And, you know, in Galatians chapter 5, Paul was warning the church because he saw a difference between those who were, you know, following Christ and those who were in the world. And he wrote to the church to warn them. And he says in Galatians 5.19, the works of the flesh are evident, are evident. And if you want to see how evident they are, just watch your local, well, watch your national news. Yeah. Or, um, or just spend some evening watching some of those reality shows that are horrible. I mean, really are. But... He says the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality. Yeah. I mean, just look at those shows. The Bachelor. The Bachelorette. 16 and pregnant. I mean, I, I'm just going off the top of my head some of the advertisements that I saw. And, and this is part of our society now impurity, sensuality, all that goes together, doesn't it? Idolatry. And yeah, I think this is a problem as well because we have a lot of idols that we worship. Oh, well, hold on. I'm a Christian now. I don't worship any idols. Yes, you do. You worship the building you live in or you worship in. Sometimes you worship the vehicle that you drive. Sometimes you worship the idea of being Christian when we don't like the idea of changing our behavior and loving our neighbor as Jesus tells us to. Uh, it goes on. Uh, it says sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy. And, and here is the headlines from America in 2023. Fits of anger, rivalries, rivalries. Yeah, that's another idol, I think, too. Because look at our political system. I know folks who get so passionate about being a Republican or being a Democrat that they treat their neighbors like dirt and like crap. They do. I, I just wish we could love Jesus as passionately as we love our political system here in America. Uh, it continues, dissensions, divisions. And again, I think this is from the headlines of 2023 here in America. And then he says, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. He says, I warned you as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. And and I think this is the, the source of the problem. And, and what is the solution? Well, you know, Jesus says in the gospel, love God, love your neighbor. And we can't even do that faithfully. And I know people say, oh, we just need to get people back into church. Listen, folks, the reason why people aren't back in church is because they've been treated horribly by people that worship in churches on Sunday morning. Yeah, I mean, you put on the good Christian face and you wear that suit or you carry your Bible and you walk into that place, but then through the week we treat people like garbage. And if you want to bring people into the kingdom, it's time to practice what you preach. Love God, love neighbor. Why? Well, because Paul also says that not only the works of the flesh 
But he says, the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace and patience and kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And he says, against such things there is no law. So that's the message for today. And I hope and pray that we can do better as a, as a nation and as a society and as followers of Jesus. Love God, love neighbor, and let's make the world a better place, a safer place for all of God's children. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church, Harrisville, West Virginia, Ritchie County, West Virginia. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy, I hope you're healthy, and I hope you're safe. Have a great day, everyone. Have a great weekend. God bless.